Hey there guys and gals, this is Epic Tech 360. Have you ever gone on your Mac and uh, looked at your storage and saw that other kind of storage? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That storage that's like, takes up so much of your computer and you don't even know what it is. Well today in this video I'm going to show you four easy ways to, uh, well, semi-easy um, ways to get rid of some of that um, other storage and free up some space. Number one. Now this one does seem a bit silly, but just make sure to empty your trash. If you put stuff in your Mac's trash can, it stores them in a temporary place um, where your Mac marks it as need to be deleted. You actually have to go and empty the trash to permanently delete the files. Number two. Another thing you want to delete is photos. Because, you know, most photos take up a lot of space on your Mac. Now, uh, here's a way you can do that. Open up the Photos app on your Mac. Go up to the Photos sec um, thingy. <laughs> and then go to Preferences. Then go to the iCloud tab. Check iCloud Photo Library to highlight the two options below. Then click Optimize Mac Storage. You can also uncheck My Photo Stream if you don't want the photos um, that you take from your phone or your iPad or whatever um, to end up on your computer, but I'm going to leave that checked because I use that. Number three. There's a free program that you can download from the web called Omni Disk Sweeper. Omni Disk Sweeper will um, locate files on your Mac and uh, help you delete them. Once Omni Disk Sweeper is downloaded, don't open it yet. Open the terminal and type in the code on the screen. Once you have done that, hit enter and type in your administrator password. Once done, you can close terminal and Omni Disk Sweeper will automatically open. What that code has done has given Omni Disk Sweeper the permission to access all the files on your computer. By default, Omni Disk Sweeper will only allow you to access your home folder, but this will allow you to access all the files in your computer so you can go deep down and delete those really big files that are taking up all that space. So once Omnidisk Sweeper is open, you'll be greeted to this screen. Make sure to select the volume that says Macintosh HD. Once you select the hard drive of your desire, it'll go ahead and index it. This little menu will pop up showing you what is being indexed. Once your hard drive is done being indexed, um, Omnidisk Sweeper will show you um, a list of all of your files and uh, how much storage it's taking up. Also, if you see a file that's say in the library or system folder that's so big and you open it up and it does literally nothing and you could probably live without it and you really know what it does, you could more or less delete that. Number four. The last step to deleting files on your Mac is a bit weird and a not so tricky, but um, it's a way that you're probably not used to. It's an application called Applejack, not the cereal and not the pony. And basically it's a bootcamp, assist bootcamp assistant that um, allows you to clear off um, lots of junk on your Mac. So what Applejack pretty much does is it optimizes your computer for junk and it also repairs your disk. So not only will it clean stuff, but it'll also uh, optimize your disk to make your Mac run faster, which is pretty cool. Here's how to run Applejack. First, shut down your computer. Once it has fully shut down, press the power button and immediately hold the Command S key. You should see a line of code running down, kind of like Windows. Don't be afraid, this is normal. Once the text has stopped scrolling, type in the command on the screen. Once you are done typing, hit return and you should see a line of code come down. Once it has stopped, hit return. 
Once you hit return and the text stops scrolling, hit A followed by return and Applejack will do its thing. So as you can see guys, Applejack is uh, running right now. Um, it's gonna do its thing pretty much, and uh, once it's done, it'll reboot your computer automatically. Now one thing to note with Applejack is that sometimes it'll uh, put files, well I think files um, are corrupt or in some way or another, and uh, Applejack wouldn't know what to do with it. Um, now in order to um, get those files that are corrupt, um, those files that are corrupt, you just, you pretty much just want to delete them because they're useless anyway. So this is how you do it. Make sure you're on Finder and click Go in the taskbar. Then click Go to Folder. You're going to want to type this and then hit Go. You should see a file that says Corrupt. If you do, then just delete it. If not, then um, Applejack didn't find any corrupt files. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully some of these tips helped you out with you and your Mac. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you so desire. Also, subscribe to my uh, other channel, Epic Jack 360 if you so desire as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one later. take up you will usually take up a lot of space on your Mac now um, of course you would want to delete photos that you don't oh, stupid tape okay so photos obviously take up a lot of space on your Mac and obviously you'd want to delete photos uh, to save space that you you know don't need um, to save space on your Mac now oh my frick